Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Soul Power Tennis. I am Akmos Ari. Check my sounds real quick. Sounds good. That sounds great. You know, the mic is uh, just right. All right. So, sips tea. Nice and warm for me. Wishfully, you have some too in your place to be. Welcome. Uh, I apologize for being a bit tardy or late. Had uh, quite a bit going on this dawning and this early afternoon. And yeah, had to had to take care of some things. Let me move the mic over here. Had to take care of some things. But we're here. I'm here. Happy to be here. Can you see the top of my head? Let me lower this just a little bit more. All right. So that's good. Um, yes. So late November has arrived. November 20th. Um, the week of the week of or the strong of the strong of. So wishfully, everybody is safe out there. If you're in the Northeast region, especially on the Eastern seaboard, wishfully you're staying warm and you got somebody to cuddle up next to or beautiful human beings to be around, whether it's a family member, a friend, um, a lover, a partner, all of that. So tis the season, tis the season. I'm working on that myself. So but i'm grateful and thankful to be here i feel good <clears throat> it's been a very very productive strong and sunday ray day ray day uh is the start of a new one and it's off to a strong start so the sun is setting and you know this is going to be a shorter broadcast so i might finish before the sun is setting on the eastern seaboard yeah, it's it's cold outside, but it's still very beautiful. So I'm thankful for that. And this particular broadcast is going to be um, a simple <clears throat> yet beautiful one. So I'm just going to go ahead and share my screen and get right into it. Um, but before I do it, please make sure you acknowledge um, what is on the screen and make sure you like, subscribe share click the notification bell and uh let's keep growing the channel i was you know in conversation with someone yesterday evening who is a person who looks like me who also loves tennis and it was super exciting and he actually uh subscribed to my channel he may have subscribed to my other channel <laughs> and not the tennis one but that's a start so i'm super thankful for that we welcome him aboard and uh i look forward to someday very soon seeing him in the chat so that would be awesome um and yeah i welcome more people being in the chat today so if you've got the notification come on in don't just come on and stay on in uh, i'm not going to be too long today but with that being said you know we're gonna we're gonna get right right into it so this broadcast is to celebrate robin montgomery now i've done a co-broadcast on her a time or two uh and speaking about the match with coco golf and her and how that was something to be um observed and acknowledged as prominent you know with there being two young foundational black american women who are competing at a high level of the game and how you know venus and serena williams will be proud because they're keeping on in the legacy of what those sisters put down or put in place but also the legacy that they're building upon such as the greats um as althea gibson arthur ash so on and so forth so it was a great acknowledgement and it was um i think 
a worthy broadcast. So when you get an opportunity, go check that out. And in the now, this broadcast is about Miss Robin Montgomery herself. Why is it about her? Well, very recently, she actually won another tennis title. It was the third one of her career, of her young career. And I'm going to let's do this right now so you can see what it is I'm talking about. And we're just going to we're going to go through it and flow through it. So this is uh, champions crowned at the Calgary National Bank Challenger. <clears throat> and this was exactly seven days ago. So still fresh. Um, and let's just look at the photo. Photo courtesy of Kyle Clapman of Tennis Canada. So that is Miss Montgomery herself. <clears throat> Excuse me, holding up the trophy. And here, like I said, we uh, we put a different spin on things. We acknowledge the contributions of foundational black Americans. And uh, Miss Montgomery, uh, her outfit matches the background. And I uh, love the fact that she's wearing her natural hair and that uh, she wears wristbands. So and her wristbands matches her uh, shoestrings. So which matches the stripe coming down her her uh her shirt or her uh tennis top which it looks like her sneak her sneakers match the colors of the top of her top anyway i'm noticing the nuances of the style of the fashion and how it coordinates it coordinates just well so some people may not consider it a big deal or it may not mean nothing but it's the nuances of style presentation you know that i like to focus in on and highlight so you can see the burgundy up top and you can see the burgundy below um you know you can see the yellow on the side the yellow below and you know the yellow on the wrist and so yeah just these these little things uh calgary is in canada and it says new singles champions were crowned on sunday at the calgary national bank challenger the third edition of the tournament was combined was a combined event for the first time this year and was hosted at the Austin and Victor Alberta Tennis Center in Calgary. The women's title was won by fifth seeded American Robin Montgomery, ranked number 247 in the world. Now I'm hearing different rankings. I saw 156 and now I'm seeing 247. So I'm not sure what it is. I know that she's going to be climbing in the coming year of 2023. Bank on that for sure. The 18-year-old rising star defeated former world number 29, Ursula Radwanska of Poland, 7-6-6 in the tie break, 7-5 in the final, uh, to capture her first ITF crown, uh, which stands for, I think, International Tennis Federation. Uh, of the season, crown of the season, and second of her young career. She saved a set point in the opening set, the tiebreak deficit in the second frame, to come away with a straight sets victory. She also avenged the loss she suffered at the hands of Radwanska in the, Tev in the Tev Tevlin Challenger quarterfinals two weeks ago in Toronto. So Tennis Canada uh, celebrating her win as well. Robin Montgomery is the women's singles champion of the Calgary National Bank Challenger. The American won her second career ITF singles title. So I think it's her third uh, title overall, if I read earlier correctly. And this is her uh, second one um, as it pertains to ITF. And we'll leave it at that. So I'm just, um, just wanted to, you know, celebrate her acknowledgement and her achievement here. And let me see if there's some audio or some video of her win anywhere. Let's do this. Let me check something real quick. Okay, the mic's back. 
and the reason why I think this is important is because, like I said, at a uh, Soul Power Tennis, we uh, highlight the contributions of foundational Black Americans to the game. And that's what we're doing this particular broadcast. So let's do this real quick. Let's go here and let's see. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Robin Montgomery wins Calgary. And that rhymes. Let's go with seven days ago. Let's just pick this one. Let's just watch. Oh, this is the entire. Mm, this is not. What's coming up is not the actual finals match, though. Robin Gunn wins Calgary title. Let's do that. See some footage. You know, um, not able to find at the moment her in the title match. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to watch an interview a little bit. Uh, an interview from open court. It says Robin Montgomery defeated a pair of accomplished, far more experienced players to get through qualifying at the San Diego. So this is um, the San Diego tournament, which her and Coco Golf played at. So let's watch a little bit of that. So let's do this. Boom, boom, boom. So, because I have this on the other screen. So let's go like this. Thank you all for your patience. This is all real time. No script today. We're just free flowing and going to keep it a little bit shorter. Uh, Robin Montgomery. Open court. There we go. So let's see what this is talking about. Let's play a little bit of this. Fair use. Uh, it was amazing today. So I'm really happy they gave me the opportunity to come through qualifying. Um, and yeah, it was really great playing at this level. Were you surprised by the level that you were able to kind of consistently put out there? Hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a little bit of a, I wouldn't say it's a big surprise, but being that, I mean, playing against two, qualifying around two players that are top 50 and that consistently perform over, not just this year, but multiple years, while I'm just coming back from not playing for like three months, it's my first, um, like, four-week trip back, <laughs> uh, so it was a little bit of a shock to still maintain that level. Um, going in in my fourth week. So, yeah. What did Coco say to you? Oh, sorry, what did, what did Coco came back over to you after the hug and you guys are both cracking up? What, what was yeah. she saying to you? No, we just thought it was funny that we both ended up playing against each other first round. <laughs> uh, we just hope next time it's in the finals, not first round. <laughs> So, yeah, that was pretty much just little jokes. <laughs> you some good tennis for sophomore year last night. That first set, you were, you were doing some things. Were you, yeah. What do you um, feel like you're doing this against a top 10 player? It's on Tennis Channel. People all over the world are watching. It's a 500 event. What were you feeling in that moment? Uh, So that was just a little bit, uh, just a little taste of Miss Robin Montgomery herself. And let's let's uh, let's end with her looking up and looking at the looking at the camera confidently, and smiling. There we go. That works. All right. Uh, let's do this. There we go. Look at that beautiful smile, beautiful face. Awesome. All right, so that's that, and we're back. So again, just wanted to take a moment to acknowledge 
um, the young lady and her accomplishments and her contribution to the sport. And congratulations to you, Miss Robin Montgomery, on winning your third title, second ITF one based. And it's been a, it's been a good year for you. You've gotten some notoriety and you're achieving your dreams and your goals. And we're just going to send you on with some good energy for the year 2023 and what's coming for you in your life, in your career. And yeah, just, you know, sending respect and goodwill, good cheer, good energy towards you and your family as you prepare for what's going to be the best year of your professional tennis life thus far. So may it only get better. And you're still a teenager, so enjoy as best you can. But take advantage of the moment and just continue to do what you need to do to get better. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you on the main tour. And, you know, playing at the major tournaments um, or just more big tournaments, winning where you can and just keep climbing. We support you. We salute you. We are proud of you and keep it going keep it going so that's pretty much it you all uh short and sweet episode to celebrate one of our own and to not even have it be a foundational black american thing but um american tennis uh american women's tennis this is an exciting time an exciting moment because you have two players who are already in the top 10 you know, with Pagula and Coco Golf, you know, who are top two top 10 players in the world for American, for women, um, period. And so for them to be two from the same country is awesome. And, you know, Robin has a long way to go to get there, but we just want to support our Americans when and where we can and, you know, support women in particular support black women when and where we can and so she just she's a trifecta of all those things so in if you just love the sport you love the game you know um support root for the underdog um root for you know one to just get better and keep climbing so that's all that's why tennis is very very inspiring to me because you see these uh stories of a young person who's on who's on purpose, you know, um, she's doing something that she's really, really adept at, skilled at, able to sustain herself at a very, very young age and be, you know, a professional tennis player and, you know, travel the world, make money, meet people, have access and opportunity to all kinds of resources and environments. That's a blessing. That's a huge blessing and shouldn't be taking shouldn't be taken lightly so uh you know she's she's one of the chosen in that way and i'm excited to see how her career unfolds and so that's essentially it like i shared um boom, 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 this needs to go to my right so it needs to go this way just a little bit it's gonna shake the camera up just a little bit there we go and just a little bit this way so, yeah. So, thank you for joining this broadcast of So Power Tennis. I have a big announcement to make next Sunday. So, stay tuned. And I plan on being on time for that one. So, I look forward to seeing you. And tell a friend, share this broadcast. Again, please make sure you like, subscribe. Click the notification bell and uh, we're going to come out in a very, very similar way that we came in. And that's with listening to some incredible music because we like it, because it's good stuff, you know. And in addition to that, you can see on the screen who the music was made by. So that's always very, very important. And, you know, as I like to say, make sure you keep.
keep your head in the game unless maintained. And until next time, make sure you stay tuned and make sure you stay in tune. That's important. And until next time, peace. Akmosari, so power tennis. the east coast please enjoy the sunset